Do schools really kill creativity? Once in a while, a provocative idea pops up, schools kill creativity. It's a spicy, enticing perspective, isn't it? However, let's dive in and debunk this myth. The truth is that schools, instead of extinguishing the creative spark, have the potential to nurture and foster creativity in our students. Creativity in the classroom, a core element. Firstly, let's get this straight, creativity is not just about painting a masterpiece or composing a symphony. It's about thinking differently, finding new ways to solve problems, and expressing unique perspectives. This is exactly what education, at its core, aims to inspire. Creativity in the classroom is often misunderstood. It isn't about letting students roam free with no boundaries or guidance. Instead, it's about striking a balance between structure and freedom, where students have a clear understanding of the subject while having the liberty to explore, experiment, and express their unique ideas. Teachers, the nurturers of creativity. The role of teachers in this process is pivotal. A good teacher not only imparts knowledge but also ignites the spark of creativity in students. They challenge their students to think outside the box, encouraging them to connect ideas, and to question the status quo. In fact, many teachers weave creativity-boosting activities into their lessons such as brainstorming sessions, group projects, and hands-on experiments. Through these means, they enable students to think critically, innovate, and express their thoughts freely. The nurturing of creativity isn't a standalone process. It's intricately woven into the fabric of teaching and learning. Even in subjects that are seen as highly structured, like math and science, creative problem solving is a skill that's often emphasized. Teachers, being the catalyst they are, help students see that there is more than one way to approach a problem, fostering creativity in their learning. Education system, not the villain. Critics often paint the education system as the villain in the story of creativity. They claim that standardized tests and uniform curriculums suppress the spirit of innovation. However, these elements of the system are there to ensure a baseline understanding of key concepts and skills that are vital for students' futures. Let's consider standardized testing. While the current format might be seen as a constraint on creativity, if we transform these assessments into a tool for nurturing innovative thinking, we could revolutionize their impact. Instead of merely evaluating factual recall, we could design assessments that explore students' creative problem-solving abilities and their capacity to apply knowledge in unconventional ways. In doing so, we turn a potential creativity barrier into a creativity booster. Similarly, regimented curriculums need not be enemies of creative thought. Yes, they provide a structured framework, but within this structure, there's ample room for exploration and creativity. For instance, integrating subjects, such as blending science with art or math with music, can provide students with fresh, creative perspectives. Through this approach, a seemingly rigid curriculum morphs into a vibrant tapestry of interdisciplinary learning, stimulating rather than stifling creativity. Now, let's explore the notion of memorization. While rote learning does not actively nurture creativity, it's essential to remember that having a strong foundation of knowledge is crucial. It equips students with the tools they need to innovate. The key lies in balancing factual knowledge with creative application. If teachers can encourage students to apply learned facts in creative ways, the act of memorization becomes a stepping stone towards innovation, rather than a creativity blockade. Nurturing creativity, a shared responsibility. Cultivating creativity is not the sole responsibility of the schools or teachers. Parents, peers, and society as a whole also play significant roles in nurturing creative minds. Encouraging curiosity, fostering a love for learning, creating a safe space for failure and innovation, and modeling creative behavior are some of the ways everyone can contribute to fostering creativity in our students. It's also important to note that creativity isn't a fixed trait, it's a skill that can be cultivated over time. It requires patience, practice, and perseverance. Therefore, both inside and outside the classroom, we must provide opportunities for students to exercise their creative muscles. So, do schools really kill creativity? A deep dive into the topic suggests otherwise. 
while there are certain elements within the education system that need refinement, schools, by their inherent design, are not creativity killers. They are, instead, potential creativity catalysts. Our education system may not be perfect, no system is, but it's continually learning, adapting, and improving. In the meantime, it's crucial that we recognize and celebrate the hard work and dedication of all those who are transforming our schools into vibrant hubs of creativity and innovation. The future is bright, and our schools are leading the charge. Thank you.